Got grubs? To be sure, grubs feed on the roots of grasses, so lawns will show wilting and browning of irregular shaped areas. This insect can cause serious damage when a significant population occurs on a lawn or other turf area. Here to show us how to manage and eliminate grubs is Doug Maurer, president of Brian Kyle's Landscapes of Distinction. Grubs are a very common problem to northern Ohio turf. Uh, you'll see them flying around in July and August as Japanese beetles. They will go lay their eggs in the turf because the grubs will feed off of the root system of this turf. So come September, you'll have a bunch of little grubs chewing away and they go through a lot of changes in their lifestyle like putting on different suits of armor. So what happens is, is in the fall they'll go through about four, five, six, what we call instarch stages and they will get tougher and tougher. After they go through about one or two changes though, they're tough and we can't touch them with basically unless you want to squish them and that's a little ridiculous. So you'll notice grub damage in two forms. One, July and August, a big patch of turf will turn brown and basically it doesn't have the root system there and the grubs have chewed it away, can't supply the moisture to the plant. The other damage you might notice, particularly in the fall, is if the skunks come out at night and dig little tiny holes in your turf and you wonder, what are all these little divots in my yard? Well, chances are they're looking for these little critters called grubs. Now this area I happen to know is prone to grubs, so I knew we'd probably find one or two. Uh, it's probably a good thing for us to be treating this area on a regular basis. This happens to be a little guy. Hard to believe he's indestructible at this time, but he's just a little grub. He's great for fishing, but uh, not so great for your lawn. So what we want to do, come June with an application of fertilizer, there's a product that is in with that fertilizer in the month of June that we put down that will be a control so that when the eggs are laid in the turf as they emerge, they're done for. That's when they're vulnerable. You need to have this protection in place before these grubs are basically hatched out from their egg form come like early September. So June is generally the time. That's why we're doing this now to get you some information on it. We want you to be prepared get your grub control in place during the month of June. Now, do you have a grub problem? Well, if you notice the skunks last fall or in the spring, if you notice brown spots last July and August, or if you start digging in your yard and you find a half a dozen grubs crawling around under about a square foot patch of turf, you've probably got a problem. One grub here, one grub there, no big deal. But a half a dozen, that's probably a problem. So find one or two, dig in another spot or a few other spots. If you find more, treat it yourself or give us a call. We'll be happy to come out and take care of those grub problems. This has been part of the Brian Kyle's Landscapes of Distinction how-to series. To learn more, be sure to visit www.briankiles.com where you'll have access to myriad resources, including our blog, which houses this series. <laughs>